Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes! We are back with Knack 2, very hard mode, on the PlayStation 4. Now, before we get into this, I just want to say, sorry about the last video I did. It was an absolute train wreck. Not only did I die so much that I nearly ran out of recording time, but for some reason, both of the cutscenes in that episode, both of them glitched out and wouldn't play for some reason. So the last video was a bit of a train wreck and I was in a very bad mood, just because I kept dying so much. So, yeah, sorry about the last video. I was thinking about going back and re-recording it, but because the game auto-saves, you know, I couldn't go back and redo it. I could have probably gone onto the world map and maybe played it on the chapter selector there, but then it would have ruined my, like, continue progress, you know? So, yeah, it was a bit of a mind fuck in the last video. Everything just went to crap, and I didn't know what the hell to do. But either way, it was only one video that was bad. The rest of them have been pretty good so far. So we're going to carry on from here. So, what is going on now? We are back to where we first started the game. Because if you remember, episode 1 and 2... We had to uh, battle through the city, trying to save it from all, the, all of the robot invasion and all of the titans. And then it ended by Knack getting stamped on by a titan. And then we went like six months back or whatever we did. So we are now in current time and we now have to redo this same mission again. So I'm going to try and blast through it because you guys have already seen this mission. So let's, uh, let's do it. Let's kick some titans ass because Exander, not e <laughs> Exander, flipping hell, Xander has invaded this city, he's fixed up all of the robots, and he's fixed up all of the titans. So this place is absolutely... It's, it's going through a bad time. I mean, look over there. You can see how much crap this city is going through. But yeah, um, this is not going to be exactly the same. Oh no. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> oh, flipping hell. Jesus. Ah, whoo! But yeah, this is not going to be exactly the same as the first two videos I did because when we did that area, right the way back at the beginning, all of the uh, robots here were pretty weak. When we go through it this time, all of the robots are going to have their fancy abilities and they're going to have their shields and things. So it's not going to be exactly the same. It's actually going to be a bit harder. So yeah, see what I mean? Let's see. Because <laughs> when we did this last time. All we pretty much had to deal with was a bunch of normal robots. Now we're going to have to deal with these like upgraded robots and stuff like that. And also these electric robots over here, you know. Because none of these guys were in it when we first did this mission. But like I said, I'll try and blast through it. I'm a little bit sick at the moment, as you probably uh, gathered from me sneezing. <laughs> I've, uh, I've got a bit of a sore throat. Because I've, 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 I've been doing some secret stuff that you guys won't know about for a while because it's going to take me a while to do this. I've been doing it for months already. But I've been working on a secret thing and uh, yeah, I, uh, I've i been getting a little bit too into it and because of that, <laughs> I've been injuring my voice, you know, trying to play the part and stuff. So yeah, my voice is a little bit, a little bit crappy. Oh no, not these sods again. These are the same people that absolutely ruined my last video. Well, it weren't exactly these guys. It was like these guys, but with a shield, you know. But they actually, no, it weren't. It was like one of them, but upgraded. Uh, I'm sort of surprised that they didn't make me uh, do any quick time events. I thought I would have had to have uh, pressed R1 or something. But no, we didn't have to on that one, so that's pretty good. I'm not a fan of quick time events because, uh, one, they're a cheap way of adding gameplay. And two, a lot of the time they're, uh, I don't know, they're just they're not, not very good. Oh, we absolutely annihilated him, didn't we? Jesus, we kicked his butt. <laughs> we absolutely kicked his butt. I've actually got some skill points, actually. So let's go and power up quickly. See what we can buy. I don't think there's anything good I can really get now. I mean, we have these two here. Press square while pulling an enemy towards you to deliver a knockout punch. And I think this is the same thing. Yeah, to deliver a knockout kick. So you pull them towards you and then you press circle. And it's supposed to instantly kill them. But now I've used this power a lot of times. And it does not do what it says. I mean, it might do it on easy. 
but if you pull them towards you and press circle, you do kick them, and they do take damage, but they don't die in one hit, so... I mean, I'm going to buy it, I'll just buy it to show you guys, but it doesn't seem to do what it says on the label, you know, it's a bit of a lie, actually. But yeah, uh, Xander is attacking this city with his fully upgraded Titans, so this is going to be a, uh, a big problem to deal with, you know? It's not going to be as simple as it used to be. Also, another good thing about redoing this level, if you did unfortunately miss any chests when you was first playing the game, because at this point of the game, you've probably got your uh, treasure chest finder. So if you did miss any, then you get to go through the level again and you can pick up any that you missed. Because if you come over here and have a look, this is the one I've got all the way back near the beginning. And you can see it's already open, see? It's already open. Because we did this right the way back, like a month ago nearly. That's one thing I do like about Knack. It is a long game, you know, so it allows me to make quite a few videos. It's nice to have a game that's popular on my channel and actually lasts longer than, like, five hours, you know, so I actually can play it for a while and people can enjoy it, you know? Once again, we have to hide, if I remember correctly. I'm not 100% sure if you do have to, but I'm going to do it anyway, because, you know, I don't want to be punched by angry Megatron. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. You can't be spotted. You see him go to punch me then. He was he was about to kick my ass, but luckily I got in that, that little uh, tunnel quickly. Oh dear. But yeah, sorry about my voice. I'm just I'm a, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit I, I wouldn't say I'm ill, I just think I'm a bit tired, you know, exhausted from just I'm trying to do a lot of things at the moment. Hopefully it's all worth it. You guys hopefully you guys will enjoy what I'm doing at the moment. Uh oh. Oh, oh, hang on, they're shooting peas at me. They sort of remind me of Pea Shooter from uh, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. I'll tell you what, more bets. If you haven't played Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, I recommend it 100%. Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 1 and 2 are absolutely amazing. I was really hoping that uh, EA was going to announce number 3 at uh, their uh, EA Play event in June, but it doesn't look like they did. I think they might announce it next year. I get a feeling that they will probably announce it. Maybe... Uh, EA Play 2018, and maybe the game will release February 2019, maybe? I think that's what they might do. No, I'm not 100% sure, I just get the feeling, you know? Because I thought they would have announced it this year, and it would have released, like, February 2018 or something, but it didn't. So, either they're not going to make another one, or I don't know. I do hope we get another one, though. I loved all the new characters and stuff that they added. I just wish they would... Uh, like include a very long story mode, you know, because they had they had like a they had somewhat of a story mode in uh, Plants vs Zombies: Garden Warfare 2, but it was it was very limited, you know. It just felt like little small missions, you know. It wasn't really any kind of proper campaign story, you know. I reckon they could make something pretty damn good. Also, maybe something sort of like World of Warcraft or any of the other MMOs, you know. Maybe they could add a couple of uh, raids and that where you have to play different characters, you know. Like some person could play a Sunflower and like heal the, heal the raid group, you know. Somebody could play as like Chompar or the Orange Flower and he can be like the tank, you know. And you have all the other DPS characters. I think that would be pretty cool as well, you know. I mean, some sort of raid, you know. Or dungeons or something. If you haven't played any MMOs, what I'm saying probably makes no sense to you. But if you have... You'll know what I'm talking about. I reckon that'd be pretty good. There's lots of potential in these games that, that uh, these developers make. And they never seem to really do everything they can. It's like they don't think of some of the things that I think of. So I wish they would just hire me. They never got they never got to pay me, you know. Literally just hire me for a month and I'll just sit in their office and tell them loads of ideas. <laughs> I'll do it for free, I don't care. As long as they make the game that I want. Because I seem to think up so many great damn ideas. And sometimes they're very simple ideas that most people probably thought of. Man, I would play the hell out of that. World of Warcraft, Plants vs. Zombies style. I'd play the hell out of that. Having, like, some proper end boss, you know, that actually, uh, that you're, like, taught throughout the campaign to absolutely hate. And then you've got to get together with your mates and go and fight this, like, savage end boss or something. That'd be great. Like, they could have Dr. Zomboss as, like, one of the main bosses, you know, where you have to get, like, ten of your mates to come help you kill. <laughs> I do miss World of Warcraft. I don't recommend anyone plays it though. If anyone asks me if, I, if they should play it, I'd say no. Nah, you know, the game's the game's brilliant, but the community is fucking disgusting there. Not everybody. There are some great people on there, but the majority of people I interact with on that game are just. Oh look, it's this sod again. He's the same person that was kicking my ass. 
he's the this dude here is the reason why my last video was horrible. But now that I'm a, I'm a lot bigger, I'm actually see look. Now that I'm a lot bigger, I absolutely annihilated him. He had like no chance. <laughs> he got destroyed. Now, I think I missed one. Yeah, I missed one chest when I did this the first time. And I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around here. I think it might be up here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. The reason why I didn't get it was because of that car, you know. Because when you see those flaming cars, you don't normally go near them. Because if you smack them and that, they uh, do damage to you. So, that's probably why I missed it. Because I didn't think to punch these... Uh, these fiery cars because I didn't want to take damage, you know. Come, my voice, my voice sounds really weird. I don't, I don't know what it is. I think it might just be my nose. So if my voice sounds weird, I'm sorry. <laughs> it sounds proper like nasally, like I'm holding my nose or something. I also can't concentrate very much, so I'm probably repeating myself several times. Guys, it, it, I'm actually recording this on Friday the thirteenth. You know, you guys probably won't see this video until Monday. But I'm recording this on Friday the 13th, so it's not the best day in the world to be recording a video, you know, because uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a day of bad luck and a day that scary things happen, you know, so I should not be recording today. I should have just not bothered. I've actually got enough videos to not record the whole weekend, but I just decided to record anyway, you know, because I like to have a nice stockpile at the moment because I'm busy doing other things, you know. Well, they just got absolutely annihilated, didn't they? Uh-oh. It is good to throw some cars at him from the bottom level because you actually do a bit of damage to him. If you're quick enough, then you can actually do some damage before he jumps down. But yeah, if you're too slow, your cars just bump into his cars. Right, we're going to stand back because, he, yeah, he does that random thing. I wish you could stun him. I mean, I am pretty big. Oh! I mean, I dodged it, but oh, I didn't dodge that though. Can I pull him over? Oh, I can. <laughs> he, he can't do anything. He's getting proper owned, isn't he? Thinking about it, I wonder if I could have done that in the yesterday's video. You know, when I died several times. Boom. Lovely. Now, uh, one thing I've noticed. <laughs> that's one of the trophies for... Um, if, you've, if you use your boomerang ability and you stun the enemies, I think you've got to do it 50 times and you get yourself a trophy. But one thing I have noticed, you know, I've not seen any of the titans so far. I mean, this city has got quite a few tall buildings, but those titans are massive. So you would have thought we would have seen them like walking around in the background. Because if, if you don't know where we are, we're currently in New Haven. And New Haven is uh, Lucas, Ryder, and the Doctor's home, you know. It's the city. It's like one of the capital cities. Because at the moment, um, Xander has already taken over several other cities, you know, and destroyed several other places. So uh, I guess he was, like, building up his army and, like, repairing his robots and making them more stronger. Because he was planning on taking over this city, which is... It's a lot more stronger, you know, because it, it would be like attacking England, you know. Attacking some of the smaller towns, you know, would be pretty easy. But then once you get to London, you're going to want to have, like, an even stronger army because you know there's going to be a lot more fancy weapons and stuff in London, you know. So that's sort of what Xander has done. Now, if you want to get the other chest, it's actually down here. I've already got it, so I'm not going to go down there. But if you, if you drop here, you'll find the other chest, and that's where all three of them are. That's the last one you'll find in this level. It's weird having to do the same level again. It is a clever move by Mark Cerny, ain't it? And Sony Japan Studio. Because they get to extend the game for free. Because they, they don't have to spend any development time on this level. Just change some of the enemies and that's about it. <laughs> Pretty clever, isn't it? Bit cheap, though.
Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, cheer to me, police. Cheer to me. They are police officers, innit? they? Are they police officers? What are they? I think they are. They look like policemen. <laughs> I'm not sure, though. They might just be builders or something. They're either policemen or they're, uh... Robbers. They look a bit like thieves, don't they? Right. I think this might be the end of this uh, section, actually. Because this is the bit where, uh... We got sent back in time. Because we get stamped on. Or the uh, the Titan goes to step on us. And then we got sent back like six months or something, I think it was. Or maybe it was longer than that. I'm not sure. A titanic climb. I've got to be honest with you. I uh, I, I have had... Because because obviously Knack doesn't sell brilliantly, you know. A lot of people don't like Knack. I don't know why. I mean, I love Knack. But a lot of people do not like Knack on the PlayStation. And um, I was thinking that during this game, they were going to try and kill off Knack, you know. Because if Knack's dead, they can't make another game, you know. So it saves them money. But yeah, when that bit happened, I thought Knack was going to actually be dead. And we was going to play as another character. I really thought he was going to be dead for some reason. I just had it in my head that he was going to be dead. But no, luckily he's alive. But now we've got to try and climb up this flipping huge titan. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Oh, this ain't good. Oh, it's like it's like the Chronos boss fight in God of War 3. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sort of hiding on his arm. <laughs> I mean, he, he... I was about to say he must be able to feel me, but he's a robot, isn't he? He can't feel anything. Because um, in case you guys haven't been watching these uh, videos, these titans are not actually alive, you know? These titans are just massive robots that are controlled by high goblins. If you've seen the movie Pacific Rim, it's pretty much like that, you know? So, uh, yeah, don't think these are giant robots that are controlling themselves, because they're actually just massive remote control cars, pretty much. Because <laughs> if, if we can get up to his head, you know, we can just beat the shit out of any of the high goblins that are in there, you know? If we make it there without dying. Oh, that was close. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's what you want. All right. What's the buttons? Missiles is triangle. Punch is square. Strong attack is circle. Probably the best attack. You do have health in this Titan, so be careful. L1 is to block, but you won't really need to do that very much. Oh, yeah. Love it. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Oh, let's see how they like it. Maybe we can actually take down some of the other Titans now, can't we? Hopefully. <laughs> oh, Knack, you're a little legend. God, this guy's got a lot of health, isn't he? There we go. There's another one coming. Am I supposed to kill it? I assume so, because it keeps aiming me over there. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. They take a lot more damage from this uh, strong attack. Obviously, when you use the strong attack... Yeah, look. Another Titan over there. When you use the strong attack, you um, you are a lot slower doing it. So sometimes it's best to just use your uh, quick punch attack, you know. 
Or the stomp attack. The stomp attack is also good. Look at him blocking. What, what do you think you're going to do, mate? What do you think you're going to do? Have that. Have that, you silly sod. What do you think you're going to do? Look, there you go. You soppy sod. Oh, boom. What a shot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> How do you like being stepped on your gits? Don't worry. Don't worry, it's Knack. <laughs> I'm still controlling him, if he was wondering. I'm still controlling him. Actually, I think we can still attack. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Buff. I love it. Oh, there we go. Another one. Oh, look at that. It's, it's so nice. It's so nice to be panned in them like this, you know? And not in a giggity kind of way. I mean, like, in a painful way. Look at that one behind me. You think he's going to get away. No, you don't, mate. You're all dead. You're all dead meat. I suppose now that I said dead, I'm going to have my video demonetized, you know. <laughs> this ain't a very good angle to control this robot with. It's actually pretty annoying. Oh, oh, there we go. That's better. You alright, boys? Oh, can we just do the rest of the game like this? If we could do the rest of the game like this, it'd be so easy. <laughs> right, so... There was four titans inside of Xander's secret base back at his monastery. We have destroyed one of them. Actually, there was five, I think. Yeah, there was five inside of his base. Now, one of them got destroyed by Katrina's army because they just ran in there and they just broke the hell out of it. It was like a rusty one that hadn't been repaired yet. Then he had four, he had four brand new ones that he had mended, you know. Then inside of uh, Xander's secret base, we killed another one. So, uh... He only has three working titans. And we've now taken control of one. So he's really, he's only got two titans left now. So we are making some good progress. We are slowly destroying all of his titans. So that's pretty good, ain't it? And with this big titan that we're controlling, we can probably take down some more. Oh, here we go. You alright, mate? How you doing? If I remember correctly, if you just keep pressing circle, you will knock the hell out of him. He doesn't have a chance to do anything else, really. Oh, hang on. Hang on, he's learned some new moves. Oh, I'm going to end up dead, actually. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoops. That didn't go very well. Oh. It's because I wasn't moving. I was... I was... Because... Uh, you, you, you whack him like that with a circle. What's going on here? All right. You want to punch, mate? Like when he blocks, you press circle. When he's not blocking, you want to do your quick attacks, you know. And if he isn't blocking, just shoot some rockets at him. Like, when he does this, then circle, you know, bop. Then maybe a couple of squares, and then move away. And go in for another one. Oh, there we go. Couple more. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Knack. Give him the old one-two. Give him the old one-two. Oh, you want... Oh, I missed. Shit. What's going on? What the hell, Knack? Did you see that? I was pressing circle. You probably heard me tapping it. And he didn't even hit me. I'm going to end up dead now.
That was badass. That, that was badass. You are a beast, Knack. You are an absolute flipping beast. What an absolute badass, you know. We've only got one more Titan to deal with now. And obviously we've got to deal with Xander. So one more Titan. <laughs> we, well done, Knack. Well done, my good sir. I mean, obviously it's me controlling you. So I should say well done to myself. But I've done some very stupid things throughout this playthrough. I've got poor Knack killed so many times. I know I'm playing on very hard, so I'm guaranteed to die a few times, but some of the times I've died in this playthrough has been just just disgraceful, you know. Make sure you run around and have a little look around in this like little temporary base, because there are a couple of uh, relic energy chests around here. Right, how many chests? Right, we've got two more chests to find. I'm going to try and make a little bit of progress, and then we're going to have to end the video for today. Obviously, I've got my secret detector, so I should be able to find any treasure chests. In fact, I think one of them might be around here somewhere. Is that it? Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, my uh, my detector is going off. <laughs> I always forget to listen for it because I've got my TV very low volume, so I don't really hear the um, I don't hear the beeping that much, you know. But I normally see the uh, little icon in the corner. I mean, we're getting pretty close to getting Vampire Knack and Shooter Knack, so... Uh, we might actually be able to unlock a few of them on camera. That'd be pretty nice, wouldn't it? Alright, let's stun these little gits over here. What do you two think you're doing? I mean, look at the size of me, you know? Stop being silly. You're not going to kill me. You can't even kill me when I'm normal size, you know? So what are you going to do when I'm Fat Knack? You're not going to do anything, my friends. Look at the damage. Should I tell you what would be good? If um, when Knack is this tall, you know, he could actually pick up enemies and throw them at other enemies. I reckon that would be amazing. Could you imagine that? Just picking up random high goblins and throwing, out, throwing them at other high goblins. That would be great. I'd love that. <laughs> I'd love that a lot. I'd love it way more than I should. There's a tall guy down here, so I'm bringing this uh, car with me to throw at him. There he is. Yeah. Because this little turd over here is the one that shoots those uh, arrows at you. There we go. Dealt with. Nicely. Nice and smooth. Definitely the way you want to do everything. Ah. So nice to randomly body slam and just have an absolute ton of sunstone energy come shooting down at you. Here's the final chest of this... Uh, of this level. This level's not very long, like this little section of the chapter. It's actually pretty quick. Oh, a topaz. We ain't had one of them for a while, have we? I think I've been a lot more lucky in this playthrough with my uh, gems than I was in my own. Because in my own one, I got all of the uh, I got all of the gadgets very quickly, and I didn't really get many gems, you know. Until I like went through the levels and opened opened up the remaining chests, then I eventually unlocked all of the different knacks. But yeah, I was really lucky with the gadgets. I was getting like I had the combo meter and the treasure tre the treasure chest detector way before this point of the game, like all the way back in the uh, the library bit where I was knocking over all the books. So yeah, I've not been very lucky with the gadgets. I do want to get that combo meter though. I don't think we've actually got that close to it yet. Let's have a look. Oh, we've already got the combo meter. Oh, when the hell did I get the combo meter? I completely forgot I had the combo meter. I must have unlocked it in the other videos and forgot about it. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolf. So, yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolf. Sorry if this was a bad video. I was, like I said, I'm, I'm doing a lot of stuff at the moment. And like, like a lot of you guys know, YouTube is not my job, you know. YouTube is just a thing I do on the side, you know. I don't have all day to make YouTube videos because it's not my job, you know. I don't have... 12 hours a day to be working on a video like the big YouTubers who obviously this is their job they have lots of time and money so it's it's finding enough time in a day when I'm not at work myself you know or doing just everyday stuff it's finding that small time every day to record and at the moment during that time I'm recording but I'm also doing other stuff involving YouTube that I'm not talking about yet that I'm trying to work on you know so I'm, I'm rushed a lot of the moment and I'm getting absolutely worn out so my commentary might have been a bit bad in this video so if it was i apologize i don't like making bad videos and i feel bad if it was a bad video feel free to let me know in the comments if you felt like it was a good video 
let me know, you know. But yeah, I feel like this was a bad one. <laughs> Thanks for watching again. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share, and join a pack today. Oh!